These are the first scoops of dirt of a colossal project that will displace tens of thousands of people. Cut down hundreds of thousands of trees and turn part of Istanbul into an island. The Istanbul Canal. Canal Istanbul. Canal Istanbul. Canal Istanbul is the largest infrastructure project Turkey has ever seen. It will connect the Mediterranean to the Black Sea and fulfill one of President Erdogan's oldest dreams. Canal Istanbul bölge için yeni bir nefes borusu olacaktır. To provide a new route for tankers sailing between the two seas while boosting Turkey's revenue at the same time. But the controversial project is between Turkey's president. İsteseniz de, istemeseniz de. Biz Kanal İstanbul'u başlıyoruz, yapacağız ve milletimizin emrine amade edeceğiz. Against Istanbul's mayor. İstanbul'u tehdit etmektedir. Suyla ilgili, doğayla ilgili, güvenlikle ilgili. And the majority of its residents. So why is the canal so unpopular? And why does Erdogan want to build it anyway? To understand why the Turkish government wants a new waterway, you have to look at the one that's already there. The Bosporos. This is the only way in and out of the Black Sea and the only access Russia has to the Mediterranean. More ships transit the Bosporus than the Suez and the Panama Canal combined. But here is the strange part. While Egypt makes almost 15% of its GDP in revenue from the Suez Canal and Panama almost 10% from its canal, Turkey doesn't collect any fees. That's because of the Montreux Convention, a treaty signed in 1936 that restricts military vessels from entering the Bosporus but leaves it free for commercial vessels in exchange. Canal Istanbul could change that. The $15 billion project will open a second waterway 45 kilometers long and at least 275 meters wide. Ships like this, the government argues, will no longer have to wait days to enter the canal and Turkey will collect fees on them. But critics say Erdogan's dream is an environmental nightmare. The canal will run through agricultural land, forests, and crucial water reserves. Sadece Sazdere barajı tamamen yok olmayacak. Örneğin Terkos gölünü besleyen bazı dereler var. Bunlar kesilecek. Dolayısıyla Terkos gölünde de su kaybı e, olması mümkün. Sazdere'yi e, ortadan kaldırdıktan sonra Sazdere tamamen tuzlu hale gelecek ve oradan yeraltı sularına doğru e, tuzlu su akışı e, meydana gelecek. This could contaminate drinking water, harm marine ecosystems, and spread the stinky smell of hydrogen sulfide. No wonder then that the majority of Istanbul's residents oppose the project. Ben geleceğim için hayır diyorum, çocuklarım için hayır diyorum, torunlarım için hayır diyorum. Kanal İstanbul'a karşıyım çünkü e, Kanal İstanbul, İstanbul'un yok edilmesi projesidir. Ve bu kadar milyarlarca liranın oraya yatırılmasından dolayı karşı. Such a controversy could be just what Erdogan is after. A worsening pandemic and sinking economy have left the president sliding in opinion polls. Erdogan might be using the dispute to mobilize his base. Bir seçim projesidir, seçim vaadidir. Hala da öyledir. The government also hopes to boost the construction sector, create thousands of jobs, and turn the gears of the economy. But some argue that this strategy could be short-sighted. Istanbul's geography will be changed forever, and most citizens are unwilling to trade that for a short-term economic boost. İstanbul'a ihanet etmek anlamına geliyor ve ben bunu kabul edemiyorum. Yapılma kararından bir an önce vazgeçilmesini istiyoruz. Onlar biz inatla yapacağız diyorlarsa biz de inatla durduracağız. If their position stands, Erdoğan might be digging himself into a hole he can't get out of.